Hello everyone, I'm making this video because a new live streaming functionality has been added to YouTube, perhaps a sign that YouTube Gaming is about to be released soon, and in short, it's just like Twitch. Now YouTube has had live streaming for years, but it's been a little different from most live streaming services. It was based on events, events you have to schedule. Each event has its own title, description, tags, monetization settings, encoding settings, even its own stream key. And after you've streamed it, it turns into your everyday YouTube video. Now that's not bad, but it's a little time consuming and some people don't like it. So what they've added is, like I said, just like Twitch. Every person have their own live streaming page. It's located at youtube.com slash channel name slash live. And it's a continuous stream with a single stream key that you put in your streaming software and you only have to click start streaming or stop streaming in order to go online or offline. There's still a title and a description that you only type once and you can change if you want to, if you stream different games, for example. But if you choose to, you can leave it there forever and you have your thumbnail that serves as a background when you're offline. You can make highlights, you can run ads if you're partnered, just like Twitch, basically. The setup is relatively easy. Really, the only thing you have to do is, if you're using open broadcasters, click optimize for YouTube, paste your stream key once, and then just hit start streaming and you go live. Every time you go live this way, your subscribers will get a notification in their subscription section. And I believe it's also being promoted on the bottom left of your every video. Now, these streams also become videos once you've finished them. So when you start streaming and then you hit stop, the stream will, after some time, turn into a video. You can click this option over here to make it private, just in case you wanna edit it up first. Now there's this option that optimizes for low delay versus low buffering for viewers. I suspect if your viewers are experiencing buffering, you should probably be focused on this one. And if you want, as low of a delay as possible, you should focus on this one. Now the delay on YouTube is usually about 30 seconds, because I've streamed a lot with the older system, and I have yet to see how this works, so I'm leaving that for you to test it out. What's basically different between the old version and new version, both are still available. The old is in the events, and the new is over here. The old style is much more time consuming, because you have to type out all the information on YouTube every time and you have to paste your new stream key in your streaming software every time as opposed to the new version where you just have to hit start streaming and you go live. However, there are certain benefits to the old one as well. First, the ability to actually schedule your stream from an hour earlier to even a few days in advance. And so people can go to that particular stream and post comments, talk to each other, you can talk to them in the comments, and these comments will be unique to that stream. You can also schedule a new one and it will have its own comment section. Viewers will get another notification for the second stream. That is particularly useful when you're streaming multiple things. For example, you wanna stream uh, one game for two hours in this evening, and then another game for another two hours after that. So you can schedule two events for the two games, and that way people will know what they want to watch, what they want to show up for. And so it's better for planning, I suppose, the old way. And the new way is just if you want to go live quickly. If you, for example, live stream every day at the same time and the same game, you don't need to schedule, you know, just uh, tell your subscribers to show up every day at the same time. And it will be much easier for you. Now, something I'm, I was about to say I don't like it, but I suppose it works, is that if you have an event that's live, it doesn't show live on your unique live page. However, you do get a big uh, button on the screen that says you're actually live and you can click on it and go there. So um, I suppose that works as well. So that's pretty much it. In short, um, they've added YouTube's version of Twitch to YouTube. You have your own streaming page your own streaming key, and when you choose to go live, just go live, your subscribers get a notification, and that's it. Or if you want your subscribers to get notified early, then set up an event. I have made a video on how to stream with the old streaming functionality. You can check it, it's in the description and on the annotation on the screen. 
And that's basically it. Tell me what you think about this new streaming on YouTube. And until next video, stay tuned and be good.